Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a reversible tank top to fit vintage Tammy dolls and similar sized dolls. For your free pattern, please go to ShellyWood.com to download and print this free PDF sewing pattern. Use your pattern to cut out the pieces shown here. Use a fabric pencil to mark your bodice darts according to the pattern. Do this for both bodices. Fold each dart and sew them. Now your bodice will look like this. So both darts on both bodice pieces. Trim away the extra dart fabric and you'll see me doing that right here. So this is my solid color and I'm going to trim away the extra fabric from those darts. This prevents a little bit of bulk in between the layers of the bodice. So it's an important step and now I'm trimming away the extra fabric from the print fabric as well. So you'll want to do that for both darts, both bodices. And there we go. Set the bodices aside and let's work with the straps for a moment. Lay the printed strap over the top of the solid fabric strap, keeping right sides together and stitch along one of the long sides. Open the strap up like this and press your seam. Now your strap looks like this. Fold one side of the strap in. This is the same photo but from a little different angle to make sure you understand what I mean. And then fold the other side of the strap in as well. Now fold the whole strap in half, as we say, like a hot dog. So first that strap, then the next, and then you fold the whole business inside like a hot dog bun. There we go. Whip stitch to close the opening of the strap. If you need help with a whip stitch, I have a tutorial for that. Just look in the description below this video on YouTube. Now your strap should look like this on one side and it's going to look like this on the other side. You'll want to follow these directions to create two straps like this. Align one strap with the bodice dart keeping solid fabric against solid fabric. Hold it in place with a little straight pin and then place the other end of the strap about three centimeters away and hold it in place with a straight pin too. Now this is going to make your fabric warp a little bit and that's okay. Baste the strap in place and then you can remove the straight pins. Follow the same directions for the other strap. Place the print fabric bodice over the top just like you see me doing here so I can see the print fabric facing me and then I lay this print with the right side down. Stitch across the top connecting both bodices with the straps lying down in between them. Clip this seam. Now when you clip seams it's important to not go over the top of the sewing you've just done so be very slow and careful. Normally I speed this section up but I want you to see how very slowly I do this. And you'll want to clip seams all the way across. Then sew a stitch connecting them at the closure area. Do this on both sides of the bodice. See my pink stitching? Clip these seams and corners. Again, you want to be careful that you don't cross over the stitching you just did. Be very slow and careful when you do this. You'll do both sides. Invert the bodice. 
Now a chopstick can help you gently poke out corners, but I say gently with emphasis. And here I am inverting my bodice and you'll see those straps just pop right out. But you might want a chopstick to poke out the corners a little and now your bodice will look like this. Press your seams. Fold the raw edges of the fabric at the bottom of the bodice inside itself. So think of it like making a little puppet mouth, like when you make a sock puppet, you fold it inside. And then you're going to whip stitch along the bottom of the bodice, like you see me doing here, to seal up this opening. Now we're almost done, we just need to add a row of snaps at that back closure area. And now you're ready to try it on your doll. Your doll can wear it as a print fabric shirt or she can wear it as a solid fabric shirt. It's very cute. What if there was an easy way to take a big doll pattern and resize it to fit a little doll or vice versa? I'm Shelley Wood, the doll clothing designer and in my pattern alteration class, I'm going to share with you my resizing formula. Pattern alteration is when you take a pattern that you already own and you make changes to it. Let's say a dress doesn't fit your doll quite right. I'll show you how to create a gusset to extend the dress's bodice. Along the same lines, I'll show you how to use a doll's body measurements to lengthen and shorten shirt sleeves and to recreate the pants patterns you already own so they will fit dolls of different shapes and sizes. Following my instructions, you'll learn how to reshape dresses and skirts, making them fuller or less full depending on the look you're going for. With this collection of more than 40 videos, you'll use my measurement guide and dozens of tips and tricks to create a full wardrobe for the dollar dolls of your choice. I invite you to join me. We are gonna have so much fun.